Hello everyone. Today I'm going to solve this problem. In this problem, a projectile is launched from point A with initial velocity is given as 120 meter per second. There is a salon distance as seen in this picture. So we have to find the point of contact or impact of the projectile at position B and the time of the flight. So I will always suggest start with the fundamental concept. We will make x and y axes and we will calculate the initial velocity in x direction and initial velocity in y direction. It's very easy and simple to calculate vx0 will be 120 cos 40 as I have made this picture here diagram and you can also calculate the initial y velocity by using 120 sine 40 degree. I hope this is very simple and easy to understand because whenever we get projectile problem we have to calculate the initial velocities in x and y direction. Now when we see this diagram or the problem, we see that there is a slant distance which is not horizontal. So to make it our problem easy, I will calculate the total distance or generally you always write the final distance xf. To make it easier, I wrote xab, the distance from A to B in horizontal or in x direction. So it is easy to calculate. I will write 800 plus the component of S that is S multiplied by cos 20. This will be the distance from X A B. The A B distance in X direction. Similarly, what will be the Y direction distance? We can also calculate Y A B. Again, by using the component of s i will say it is s sine 20 okay or sine 20 s and this is minus negative y because it is going in downward direction from our datum or from our reference point so now i'm going to write very fundamental equation to find the range in x direction sometime we write xf the final position or the distance or the range and tf is here time of flight so xf is the distance total it will travel that is x a b and we have just calculated above so we will write the values here for the xf that is 800 plus s multiplied by cos 20. After that we have to write x0. What is x0? The initial distance from the origin point is 0 for us so we will write it is 0 plus the initial velocity in x direction we have just calculated above so this is 91.92 meter per second multiplied by time of flight this is our first equation Now we will move to calculate the y range or yf. We will write the very very fundamental equation. You have already studied about this equation. yf is equal to y0 plus vy0 multiplied by time of flight minus half gtf square. So what is this yf? It is the distance from A to B 
in y direction and we have already calculated it above see here please it is minus sine 20 s so here i will write minus sine 20 s 20 multiplied by s is equal to y naught will be zero because our datum starts or projectile motion starts from the origin so it means the y naught will be zero now for the next we will write we will write the values for the y naught v y naught multiplied by tf and minus half gtf square this becomes our second equation and how many unknowns are in this equation if both equation equation one and two you will see there are two unknowns the first unknown is tf and the second unknown is s the distance so we have two equations two unknowns now i will write the value for tf by using the equation one to make it to make our manual calculation easier i will just write tf is equal to 800 plus s cos 20 divided by 91.92 now you have to put this relation of tf in equation 2 this is the the y equation is 2 so you will put this equation put this relationship of tf in equation number 2 now your equation will be a little bit complex okay because there are so many well, complex values here so i will suggest to solve this equation you can use scientific calculator because you have to solve equation 2 using the value of tf this equation will become quadratic and put the values or just this equation in your scientific calculator you will find the values for s now question is this is quadratic equation and you will find two answers for the s one is negative and other one is positive so if you will see this diagram in the problem you will understand that minus value or negative value of s is not practical of course the s will have for positive value so we will use the positive value for s and the negative value for s is wrong it is not feasible with our problem so we are going to use the value positive value 1059.7 meter and this value you will use in equation 3 which is for the time of flight and you can easily calculate time of flight that is 19.513 second i hope you have understood this problem very easily Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.